Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sahim from Sahim Tech, and welcome to our to the introduction to a secret hidden video editor which comes with Windows 10, and it is only a Windows 10. So let me show you this software. So make sure you have your have using Windows 10 because it doesn't come in any other Windows, Windows 7, or anything else. It only comes with Windows 10. So if you're using Windows 7, so if you make sure you upgrade to Windows 7 if you want to use this video editor for free. So now let's begin and let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, how, how to open up the video editor. First of all, you have to go to your search menu over here, search bar, and then type in video editor. Now you can see here it's a video editor app. Click on that, and then wait for it to open it, open up. Okay, so this is the home page. Now here are my, you know, here are the products I have been working on. So here you can see all your projects you have been working on. You can create a new video. You can also sort by the newest oldest or alphabetical order but newest that's how i want it to be now i'm going to select i'm going to start a new video project in this introduction tutorial i want be i want we want to be making a video project we will be just looking at the tools and stuff like that i'm going to click on new video project I'm just gonna show you these. Okay, now they're asking me to name your video. So I'm gonna name it um, intro. Okay, it's like um, I'm not gonna do anything, so I'm just gonna put the name, that's all. So intro production. Click OK. Now here we are. You can click here to add media, the photos, videos, anything else. Here it is the storyboard. It's gonna like the timeline, but this is the story, it's called the storyboard. Where you can drag your photos here you can put it in the left side over here by dragging it and you can open up this any any film media folder and then you can even drag and then drop over here okay but but instead if you don't want to do it you can just click add click on from my collection or from this pc from this pc and then now a window will appear where you can select it here i have my photos so we're going to use this photo to make a video project but not in this tutorial close this up okay now here you can see we can you can add your background music where you, you have so many music like amplified <laughs> it's pretty rock it's like rock music or, or even and uh, anodized Arcade party, block party. Also loud. Yes, you have many here, and it's recommended. These are the recommended uh, music. You can even add your own music by selecting a media file from your computer. Cancel. You can add. Yeah, this is the custom audio. That means your own audio. That means you can you can add voiceover. You can add your own. Um, audio. Here you can duplicate the project to make a copy of the video project you're working on. You can finish the video, that means you can export it directly. Here we have these three dots where you can change the theme, the you know the landscape, like you know you can uh, change the x uh, the ratio, the aspect ratio. You can send feedback to the to you know Windows just to tell how cool it is or how nice it works, or if you if you want any any more if any feature you want to add you can just say hey can you add this feature that feature or you could even you know you could even add any complaints or something you can click on settings where you can just you know um, add settings the way you want you can even make it light theme or dark theme i'm going to put it to you system settings just the way it was you can even send the feedback here like i said go back now here you can see this is the full screen option here we have the play button i haven't add any media so it's Nothing is there here. Uh, like I said, this is the storyboard. You can add a title card. That means kind of like uh, the first intro part, like an intro, where you can say this video is about to buy, or 
this video is about this this video is about that whatever it is and if you want to if you want to put it if you have um, put, um dragged and drop any media on your storyboard then you can remove them all directly with just one click you can click on here we have filters but if you add a media then you click on filters you can make it you can make the video uh, the photo black and white or the video black and white anything you can add motion like if you want a video to if you want a video to be like zooming into a particular place or zooming out anything you can even delete any any of these one uh, any picture or anything you insert it here you can see this is the place where you can set the view to small that means they will show small thumbnails and here you can change it to medium where they will show medium sized thumbnail click the arrow if you don't if you if, it, if you're finding it irritating like you have added the media and you want to hide it just so that you can work you you can do your work properly you can click on the arrow or you can just click here and click on it click on it back to expand it off and here you can even edit the name anytime you want you can even add it into Sahin Tech or just put it as introduction okay so good you can even we also have here the undo now for now I because I changed the name so if I click this it's going back to new video if I redo it it's an introduction okay so yeah we're done with our today's tutorial so so make sure you stay tuned for my next video which will be you know part one of of the video editor tutorial so that's the end of this tutorial so if you find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and make sure you leave a comment and make sure you also like this video if you liked it and also share with your friends who also want a free video editor which is very easy and also it is um, you know it has so many features so that's all see you later thanks for watching now meet you guys in the next tutorial